Sorry for the sounds a little rough, I will um, I will fix that in maybe a couple of minutes. Okay, this video is about to start. Hope you enjoy it. I'm not a diet person. The idea of sticking to a set plan or rules for a long period of time makes me want to not do that. But the ketogenic diet was just so intriguing to me that I had to try it out. And it was a fun time, that's for sure. In all of my research, I could not find anyone saying one negative thing about it. So this is going to be the first, I guess. So yeah, cue the intro. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to explain this extremely simplistically. There's tons of resources from actual scientists and stuff online, so please go look those up if you want to know what it's actually about. But very, very, very basically, on the keto diet, you eat mostly fat, some protein, and very little to no carbohydrates. Usually, your body gets its energy from the carbs that you eat, but this way, you're cutting those out and making it burn fat for energy instead. The main reason that I wanted to try it was because of all the stuff you can eat that is highly 
unconventional for a diet. You know, bacon, cream, a whole lot of cheese, and apparently you can eat as much as you want and you don't have to go hungry. That sounded epic. Of course, all I heard was bacon and as much as I want. And everything I heard about it was that it was this miracle diet that changed people's lives, gave them more energy, made them fitter, cured their depression, brought their nan back to life. No, I was overweight at the time, as diagnosed by my doctor. You know, I like to drink the beer and eat of the ice cream when I got sad. And I got sad a lot. So keto was really intriguing and I decided I would try it out for myself. And at first it was going pretty alright. I was thoroughly enjoying eating lots of sausage, bacon and eggs and at first I was like, wow this is the tastiest diet ever, I can't believe people lose weight on this. After a few days I was not yet experiencing any of the side effects of ketosis and while reading more about it I had my first realisation. You have to eat a heck of a lot of fat and there's such a thing as eating too much protein. And thus began the fattening, in which I dumped oil into everything to try to get those fat levels up. And it was disgusting. I don't know, but even though I knew it was what I was supposed to do and that it wasn't bad for me, eating and drinking all of this grease was so gross. I would always feel this gross film on my lips and the inside of my mouth. I could not get used to it. I don't know about you guys, but when I reached the ripe old age of 15, I could not wait to move out of my mum's place. I don't know, but I've always valued independence and never really understood people who didn't want to grow up and wanted to be a kid forever. Like, yeah, who doesn't love not being able to vote and having to go to school and not being able to buy the things you want because you win like one pound a week for doing the dishes if you're lucky? Makes total sense. My mum wasn't bad to live with, but she would do mum things. The kind of things that get more and more annoying as you grow older. Such as cooking dinner while I'm in the middle of an online game and getting mad at me because I can't just pause it. Calling me to fix a technical problem at least five times a day. Running the water while I'm taking a shower. Constantly buying food that I've said multiple times that I don't like, then complaining that I never said that I didn't like it. Using because I said so as a valid argument and telling me to clean my room. You know what I like? Dealing with the consequences of my own actions. If my room is messy, that's my problem, you know? I'm the one who's gonna step on all the Lego bricks and lose everything. Cause sometimes you don't want to tidy up right away. Maybe you had a bad day or have a lot of homework and stuff you gotta deal with first. Well no, forget about doing it tomorrow or later or in like five minutes. Your mother wants you to do it right this second. I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but even if I was just about to do it, when I got told to clean my room, I would automatically just lose all will to do it. I hated being told to clean my room that much. You know why? Because when you order your kid to clean their room, you're not teaching them to keep their room clean, you're teaching them to obey you. So being told to maybe not want to. I wanted to do it because I wanted to, and not because my mom said so. Like a true rebel. I swear my room is so much tidier now than when I lived with my mom. But that might have to do with me not playing with small toys on the bedroom floor anymore. So I got out of there as fast as I could. Nah, I'm kidding. I had a good opportunity that wouldn't financially cripple me, so I just took it. But moving out was a big part of my quest for independence. It is been fun. One of my favourite things about it is probably being able to just invite your friends over just whenever. Like, yeah dude, come chill out my couch. When should you leave? Oh, you know, just when. I also enjoy the freedom to just do whatever I want at any time of the day. I don't know about you, but sometimes I want to make a bowl of cereal at 2am. Or use the microwave. That was completely off limits before. And there's still no way to turn the beef off of most microwaves. Like, come on, that should be an essential by now. Cause your fam gotta sleep. And don't have a messed up sleep schedule like yours. Another thing, being able to decorate my house however I want. I can literally have a framed picture of items in my living room and no mother is there to be concerned for my mental health. My bathroom looks epic. It's black. You know, the most epic color. 
I also like being able to move stuff around. My mum has this oversized glass coffee table that I'd always hit my leg on on the way to the bathroom. That's another thing. The bathroom is no longer on the complete opposite side of the house. Now I can go take a pee without being asked why I won't pass my bedtime. I mean, I don't have a bedtime, but it still feels cool. Just the freedom in general is really nice. My mum would always hog the TV. And, like, I get it, it's literally her TV that she bought with her money. But now I get to buy my own TV and put it in my living room and... I honestly don't use it that much, but I have it, and it's mine. I do miss my family, of course, but moving out was like a really big part of my personal journey, if you know what I mean. I'm glad I did it, because I feel like I can really concentrate on other aspects of my life. Yeah, it's so gross. So, the internet is pretty hecking interesting, huh? Yeah. 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 Yeah.